Hey guys. <laughs> what up? My name is Red. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends. So today we're taking a look at who is better. So comparatively, the three sparking units, I mean, if you just want to go off typings, I would say obviously Goku and Turles beat out Cooler. Um, I do think Cooler is the best of the three. A lot of people have differing things, and I have to admit, after playing with them and training them up a little bit, because they're not max level yet, I've really been slacking. Um, I should have gotten to level 1000 already, but I've just been kind of like not feeling like grinding them. I kind of want to just work on other units for videos and stuff like that. But either way, after doing this, um, I actually really, really like Goku. I think Goku personally is better, but we're going to dive into it. We're going to really sit down and look at these two units, and I'm going to tell you why I think Goku is better um, than Turles. The Turles is amazing, but I think Goku is slightly better. Anyways. If you enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. And it gives you a chance to win either a $10 iTunes card or a $10 Google Play card, which every single two weeks, I go down there and I just pick a random comment for the last two weeks, boom, that person wins the card of their choice. Cool? So that's four gift cards a month, two Google Plays, two iTunes every single month. So just leave a comment on any video in the last two weeks and subscribe to the channel, you're automatically entered. Let's get in the video. Okay, so taking a look at these two units, uh, I think this is pretty close to the perfect Saiyan team that you can put together. Uh, the only thing I would swap out is maybe Turles or Goku, depending on which one you like more or less, throw in Piccolo. Piccolo is the best on any team, let's just be real here, Piccolo is the best unit in the game. That's just how it is, he's OP, he's broken, he heals everything, he takes less damage when he switches in. Fantastic unit. I wish Trunks wasn't necessarily a hybrid Saiyan, but that's his little gimmick, so I'm not really going to take it away from him. Um, but taking a look at Turles and Goku, right? So Goku is actually a fantastic unit. Look over at his ability. 19%. I, I'm not a fan when units do this because it kind of throws him in that support role. Obviously, you can use him, and it's very nice to have that additional 19% to your base strike and blast defense. So he's either got to be your only go-to purple unit. Um, you might have a backup, maybe. Or he's just supporting, like, Vegeta. Some along those lines. That's actually pretty good because that gives you defense. Vegeta has no HP. It's halfway decent. Then you can pick and choose, hey, you know, that guy has a Broly. Maybe I'll bring Vegeta in this battle. You know what I mean? It all varies. Overall, Turles and Goku being added alongside Vegeta, the three purple sparkings, fantastic. They really do counter Piccolo nicely. I like that. Um, like I said, I do like him a little bit more. So take a look over here at his uh, Unyielding Spirit. Restore on health by 20%. That's a large amount. Now, it's not allies. That's what makes Piccolo so good is he heals all of your allies, not just himself. Um, and, I mean, yeah, to an extent, I think, Pic does Piccolo do 20, if Piccolo does 20%, he is completely broken. Hold up, if he does 20, okay. If he does 20%, he is completely busted. I didn't even look at it, 25%. Yeah, that's broken. I mean, you can't really, you can't compare him to Piccolo because Piccolo's just too good. 25% to everybody? That's insanity. I never realized, I thought it was, I thought it was the 15 to 20. Truthfully, I really did. Um, well, either way. <laughs> either way. Not to, not to outshine Goku here. So he does heal his own HP, which can be nice. Definitely. And it gets you to get your special move arts card. So what Goku's green thing does, his uh, unique, if I could stop just clicking everywhere on the screen. Uh, this one right here, plus 30% to strike damage inflicted when two allies are defeated. So when it's just him, he can really kick it into gear, which is nice and not nice because you're not gonna get that additional 30% without that, but also when you really need it, he'll get it. You know what I mean? And a lot of the time, people will sack off another unit uh, instead of killing their Piccolo. So it's kind of nice because Piccolo might be the last one alive. You know, people rely on him heavily. And then Goku comes in, boom, he can nail him real hard. I do like that. I do like that quite a bit. Uh, another one of his things is, what is it? I don't even know how to find it. Yeah, lend me your energy. So it enhances the next move, special move. So the next special move that you use, uh, art cards by up to three. So card one, plus 30% to move. Card two, plus 70%. Card three, plus 120%, okay, to power. So what that basically means is if you manage to get three of these green cards, which is a bit tough, I'll definitely say that, but if you're at the end of a battle, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, without using a super attack with him, obviously, because then he's just getting rid of it. But he's basically building a spirit bomb the entire time. And 70% chance to inflict faint. That's crazy. So the first one, initially, even just gives you a 30%. That can be enough to throw you a sway. Boom, win. But getting your second and then your third? 120%. Now we're really talking about some massive damage. 
That's like, that's crazy. If you were going to do 50, you are now doing 170 to give you a little bit of perspective. That's wild. I actually really, really like that. I didn't know it was that powerful. I knew you got, I knew it got boosted, but I didn't know it was just listed right here. So awesome. But that's what makes Goku really, really good in my opinion. Um, he heals himself. He boosts up his own attack. He gets his attack straight to hand. So say you boost up green and then you, ha you get another green the next turn. Obviously, it's going to be kind of rare, but say you do. Boom, you click out his ability on, you know, where you click his face. You click that one, he gets your ability straight to your hand, or your, uh, you get 20% HP, and then you get your super attack straight to your hand. Boom, nail him for an additional 70% damage. That's wild. I actually like that a lot. That's actually really, really good. And he looks super dope. He, he's one of the lesser cool, you know, around him, definitely, but he still looks super cool. So I definitely think Goku is better than the two. But that is not to outshine Turles by any means. So Turles can be fantastic as well. Take a look over his ability. Again, he's got purple, strike attack, and defense. So you can really, really boost up a purple team here. Uh, which is good because they have counters for sure. I mean, Gohan would run this team over. Gohan Hybrid Saiyan is ridiculous right now. It's actually a really, really good team. You can hit 400,000 health. I mean, it doesn't matter how much defense you got, you're taking some damage. And even then, they're outliving some of your attacks. Uh, Frieza is actually really, really solid too. A lot of people talk trash on Frieza. He's good. If you know how to use Frieza, he can destroy definitely. And he makes him take more strike damage. So then Gohan can come in and boom, run him over. All you gotta do, if they really wanted to, they could just stack off their Piccolo. And then their Gohan is ridiculous at that point. If they really, really wanted to. So say Gohan was gonna take a special move or a rising rush. Boom, throw your Piccolo in there if he had like low health anyways. Kill him off. Bring a, bring a crap Piccolo with you. Have him just die. Gohan can run through a lot of things at that point. Really, really solid. Uh, Anti-Sun Family. That's where he kind of really shines. Because he does do an additional 10% to any Sun Family members. The same thing Broly does it to only Goku. He does it to every family in... Th that's every character in the Sun Family. That's crazy. Gohan's Goten in the future. I don't know if Bardock qualifies. I don't think he does. Um, Goku's, obviously. Any of those that apply to Sun Family. He can kind of... Not run through him, but a lot more damage. It is only blast damage, to be fair. It's not strike. So that's where Broly's busted. <laughs> that's where Broly's crazy good. That's why people... That's why you see Vegeta, Purple Vegeta, Broly, and Piccolo. That's still one of the top teams because they cover so many bases, all with just a couple units. Uh, the Joy of Destruction minus 15 to blast starts. It's always a nice little thing. It doesn't really matter too, too much, but it is nice. Um, it's the same thing with Vegeta. It goes down to 5. I find myself not using it a lot. I kind of forget it exists. Uh, that could just be me, you know, not being a pro or anything like that. Definitely. Uh, take a look over his art. Fruit of Tree of Might restores his own health by 10%. So one to three of the following effects will occur also occur randomly. Plus 20% to blast damage. Nice little chunk. You know, fifth of your damage. You're just getting stacked on top. 15% to recovery. To key recovery. That's really solid. I mean, that's actually really, really nice. That's enough. That's enough of a little jump to where you'll notice it. 30% to Vanish Engage. Now, that's the one that is not game-breaking. It's not. But it's crazy good. Like, if you can manage to nail all three of those. Like, I've had, I had one battle where I got all three of those at once. Dude, Turles is good. Like, Turles is really, really good. I do still think Goku is a tiny bit better. And I think a lot of people don't realize how good Goku can be. He's just very strategic. That's the same thing with Frieza. It's just a very strategic unit that you really got to prep for. I actually didn't even... I assume the other Goku is also ranged. That can kind of be a downfall. They're all... if Okay, he's a defense head, which is nice. Okay, never mind. I was thinking he might be ranged because he's got the little spear bomb. He like, ooh, throws at him. Whatever, fine. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Ooh, that's what it does in the movie, too. If you guys haven't seen it, you should watch it. Uh, it's actually a good movie, too. No, but I think Goku outshines a tiny bit. But I think Turles is by no means bad. Uh, the perfect team I would run them on... So, so to speak, the perfect team. Obviously, it's going to change a lot. I really, I wouldn't have both of them. I don't think you need that much purple power on your team. As much as they are good, of course. Um, I would say go Goku over. But if you really want to, it's easily doable to do. Uh, if I could think how to do it. It's easy to do that team as well. That'll easily be a very solid team. Because then you have, you would use these guys. Normally, you're three main. Maybe you'll throw Vegeta up here as well to have that team right there. And if you want to chuck Turles in there, if you see a couple Gokus on the other side, a Gohan, whatever else, Turles can be nice because they an additional 10% blast damage, whatever else. You know, it, it all depends on typings. There's so many things. You're never going to build a perfect team. That's what's cool about all these kind of games that have this RNG kind of luck to it. It depends on who you're facing 
He's got to change it up. You know, it's rock, rock, paper, scissors on crack. That's basically all it is. <laughs> That's basically all it is. Just can I determine what they're going to do at what time to bring what units? Who are they going to bring? You know what I mean? You see a lot of Goku units, turtles will be better. You see a Piccolo and another green, a Ginyu, then you might want to go Vegeta. He does have way more damage output. Um, I do think the defense overall would be better for Vegeta than having the offense. Offense is good, but Vegeta does a lot of damage. It? He's glass cannon. It having a little extra defense never hurt anyone. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below. That's my thoughts on Goku. I think he's a little bit better than Turles, but Turles is actually really good too. And I think this is a very good balance for the game, getting two more purple units. So, I have no complaints for this banner went. It's awesome. If you guys are still enjoying Dragon Ball Legends, make sure you go down below. Hit the subscribe button, it's greatly appreciated. Hit the like button if you actually did like the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't like the video. Actually, hit the like button if you learned something too. If you actually learned something about that Goku. Because I knew he powered up, but I didn't even know that. So, we learned something together. Anyways, I'm going to get that out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a great night. Catch you around. Deuces.